Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing banana nut roll. It's a really light banana cake with a cream cheese filling, frosted with cream cheese frosting, topped with drizzled chocolates, chopped walnuts, and a sprinkle of powdered sugar. It really is so amazing and so delicious. You're gonna love it. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. We'll make the cream cheese filling first. In a small bowl, add the softened cream cheese and sugar and beat them with an electric mixer on high speeds until they're smooth. Then add in the egg and milk and beat them again with the electric mixer until they're smooth. And make sure you also scrape down the sides so that all the ingredients are mixing in. Line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and make sure it's coming up the sides too. And grease it really well with nonstick cooking spray. And then slowly pour the batter all over the pan. And then spread it out until it's covering the bottom. Then firmly bang the pan onto the counter to level it out. And then set it aside for now. Then to make the banana cake, in a small bowl add the flour, baking powder, and baking soda, and whisk them together until they're combined, and set it aside for now. Then in a medium bowl, add the egg whites, and beat them with an electric mixer until they form soft peaks. Then add in the sugar and continue beating it on high speed until it forms a stiff peaks. and then set it aside for now. Then in another medium bowl, add in the egg yolks and vanilla extract and beat them with an electric mixer on high speed for five minutes until it becomes really thick and pale in color. Then with the mixer running on medium speed, gradually add in the sugar and continue beating it on high speed for another two minutes. Then add in the mashed to overripe bananas and the chopped walnuts or any nuts you like or you can even leave it out and mix them in until they're combined. Add in the meringue that we made earlier and the dry ingredients and gently fold them in until they're just combined. And then gently you pour it over the top of the filling. The easiest way to do this is to add dollops of the mixture all over the top until it's covered. And then spread it out until it's even.
and then bang the tray on the countertop a few times to level it out. And then bake it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. While it's in the oven, dust a towel with powdered sugar. And then once the cake is ready, immediately flip it out onto the towel. Then peel off the aluminum foil. And then carefully roll up the cake using the towel as your guides, but don't roll the towel into the cake. At this point, the cake will be really soft and delicate, so try not to pick it up and move it around too much. Just wrap the towel around the cake, and then place it onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely. And then to make the cream cheese frosting in a small bowl, add the softened cream cheese and the vanilla extract, and beat them with an electric mixer until they're smooth. Then add in the powdered sugar and mix it in until it's mostly combined. Then add in the milk and mix it in until it's combined. Then add the semi-sweet chocolate chips into a small plastic bag. Then microwave them for 30 seconds without sealing the bag. And then take it out and rub them until they're smooth. If you need to microwave them longer, then you can. And then press out the excess air and seal the bag. And then set it aside. Once your cake roll has cooled completely, carefully transfer it to your serving plate. Pour on the cream cheese frosting. And spread it out until the roll is covered. Cut a small corner off the bag that has the melted chocolate in it. And then drizzle it all over the top of the cake roll. And then sprinkle some powdered sugar over the top. And you can sprinkle some onto the plates too if you like. And then finish it off with some more walnuts or any nuts you like. And that's how to make amazing banana nut roll. Check out my channel for more amazing recipes and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.